Good morning nursery. Today is Tuesday and Mrs Gentry is going to be reading The Gingerbread Man. After we've read the story I'm going to show you how to write the number two. So let's have a look at the book. The title is The Gingerbread Man. There might be some parts where you want to join in. Have a look at the picture on the front. What can you see? What might happen in this story? I can see the gingerbread man, he's one of the characters. Then I can see a horse licking his lips. <gasps> you don't think he wants to eat the gingerbread man, do you? Oh, and behind him there's a cow and a man and a lady and they all look like they're running. Hmm, very interesting. Let's see what happens in this story. The Gingerbread Man. And the author who's retelling this story is Alan MacDonald. And the illustrator is Anja Rager. She drew the pictures. You can see that I'm turning each page carefully, one at a time. We're looking for the words and then looking at the pictures. Here are the words. One morning a baker said to his wife, Today I'll bake a gingerbread man. He'll look just right in our shop window. So the baker made a gingerbread man and put him in the oven. Before long they heard a noise. A little voice began to shout, Open the door! Let me out! Let me out! As soon as the baker opened the other door, oven door, the gingerbread man jumped down to the floor and ran right out of the shop. I'm off. The baker and his wife chased him down the street shouting, Come back here little ginger feet. But the gingerbread man just ran and ran singing, Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. We're going to hear this quite a lot in the story. So you could join in. Let's try it one more time. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Well done. He hadn't gone far when a hungry boy joined the chase, calling, come back here, little ginger face. But the gingerbread man just ran and ran singing. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Can't catch me. He's very fast. Next, he passed a hungry cow who said, Come back here, little ginger head. But the gingerbread man just ran and ran singing. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. It wasn't long before he met a hungry horse neighing. Come back here, little ginger paws. But the gingerbread man just ran and ran singing. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, look. This is the picture from the front of our book. The gingerbread man, the horse licking his lips, the cow, the man and the lady. Behind him chased a horse, the cow, the boy, the baker and his wife. Come back! Not likely! In the woods hid a hungry fox. He called, what's the hurry little ginger socks? But the gingerbread man just ran and ran singing. Don't forget to join in. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Let's have a chat. No time for that. He was just thinking how clever he was when he came to a wide, wide river. The gingerbread man stopped. He needed to think, up crept the fox and said with a wink. I can't swim. No, what's he going to do? 
maybe the gingerbread man could find a, a boat. No, there's no time for that. He doesn't have time to build a raft. Doesn't look like there's any bridges there. And he can't swim. Hmm, how's he going to get across? What do you think? Let's find out. Jump onto my tail. I'll take you across. The gingerbread man thanked the sly fox and he jumped onto his bushy tail. The fish is saying, take care. The fox is licking his lips. Oh dear, that doesn't look like a good sign, does it? The fox started to swim across the wide river. Very soon he said, oh little gingerbread man, you're too heavy for my tail. Why not jump onto my red, red back? Faster, Foxy. Look out! So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's back. Oh, I don't trust this sly smile on this fox's face. But soon the fox said, Oh, little gingerbread man, you're too heavy for my back. Why not hop onto my shiny black nose? Oh, no! So the gingerbread man hopped onto the fox's nose. Oh dear, I think the fox is about to have a tasty treat because foxes love eating gingerbread men. Just like that, as they came near to the bank, the fox tossed back his head and with a flick of his neck, he tossed the gingerbread man up, up, up into the air and then the gingerbread man fell down, 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 snap. Oh dear. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. And with a sly smile, the fox trotted home, singing, Run, run as fast as you can, but I caught you, little gingerbread man. Oh, look, after all of these characters wanted to eat the gingerbread man. But the fox in the end, the sly fox who tricked the gingerbread man, was the one who gobbled him up. The end. Wow. I wonder what your favourite part of that story was. Which character did you really like? Were there any characters that you didn't like? I didn't like the sly fox. I thought he was quite mean. <laughs> well done, everyone. Glad to hear some of you are joining in, singing the song. Now we're going to learn how to write the number two. So last week we learnt to do the number one which was start at the top and down we run. That's the way we make a one. And the week before that we did zero, which is round and around and around we go. When we get to home, we have a zero. Oh, Mrs. Gentry nearly forgot. Did you remember? Round and around and around we go. When we get to home, we've made zero. And this is number two. So zero, one, two. Comes after number one. Let's have a look. Around and back on a railroad track. Two, two, two. Oh, look, it looks like a train. Ready? Around and back on a railroad track. Two, two, two. That noise is a bit like a train, isn't it? Let's try again. Around and back on a railroad track. Two, two, two. You give it a try. I'm going to write it invisible on my table. Around and back on a railroad track. Two, two, two. See if you can practice writing the number two. Do you remember last week when I wrote the number one using some oats? That was really fun. Maybe you could do that again or get yourself a pen or even you could make yourself a number two using Play-Doh. <laughs> okay, well done, everyone. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.